Okay, so now we need the average velocity for the whole run. Mm -hmm. So do we just take what we got and divide it by two? Um, so the only reason that would work mm -hmm. if you like added them and then divided them mm -hmm. is because he's going at this speed for seven minutes. Okay. And then he's going at this speed for two minutes. Okay. So, so they're the not same. the same to average. Right. Okay. So what you actually want to do is find his total distance. So that would be 1,600? Yep. Because he went 400. Oh. Would it be 1,600 or 1,400? Well, because he went 400. Yeah. So he went 400 and then he went 1,000. So it would actually be oh, 14. Oh, yeah, I added two. Yeah, that's right. So his total distance mm -hmm. was 1,400, and what's his total time? Um, like, what did we say? Nine minutes? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's nine minutes. So, 155.5? Because you just divide, right? That's it? You don't have to do negatives or anything? Uh -huh. I think average velocity. Entire run. Hmm. I, I would think so. I mean, see, that's kind of like a weird question, right? Because mm -hmm. his average velocity, you would have to take into account that this was negative. But that doesn't really make any sense. Try yeah, try it and see what it says. Cause, So how would you take into account the the negative? The negative. What do you think about that? Because um, he's still going that distance. Mm hmm Yeah, he, he went a negative distance. Average velocity. Um, what this kind of makes me think of is you could do the total, so like average velocity um, velocity equals change in distance over change in time and you do the same thing you'd say your x3 your x2 minus x naught over time 2 minus time naught okay so that would give you 1200 minus 600 it should be just 600 over nine minutes Because even though he ran backwards for a while, his average velocity, if, if you ignore the fact that like, he ran backwards like this, yeah. he would cover the same distance in nine minutes if he ran at 66.7. Yeah. OK, I'll try that. Okay. I think it's weird. Okay. Yeah, no. yeah, so that's what it's looking for. So that, the difference would be that the first one we did would be mm -hmm. average speed. Okay. Because that just is his total distance over his total time. Mm -hmm. This is average velocity, meaning um, his final position minus his initial position. Okay. And you just have to ignore that he went backwards for a lot, <laughs> a lot of that time. Okay. Okay, so now this next one. Okay, um, is talking about. Alan leaves for Los Angeles at 8 a.m. to drive to San Francisco, 400 miles away. Travels at a steady 46 miles per hour, and Beth leaves Los Angeles at 9 a.m. and drives at a steady 59 miles per hour. Okay. So, there's probably a lot of turns from Los Angeles to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. But we're going to ignore that, and we're going to just say... Go to the straight line. Okay. Here's L.A. Mm -hmm. Here's San Francisco. So this position is um, we can you can either try to put it all on the same graph, mm -hmm. or you can just break it up into two graphs. Okay. I think two is easier. Mm -hmm. 
So what would you put here as far as the variables that you know? Well, down? she starts at 8 a.m. So we know it's 400 miles away. So X, what's her name, Beth? Yeah. Let's just call this XB0 okay. equals 0. That's where she starts. Mm -hmm. So then her final, so XB1 equals 400? Yeah. Okay. So then his is, um, it's still 400 miles away. His name's Alan? Yeah. Only she started at 8 a.m. and he starts at 9 a.m. And she and um, Alan goes 46 miles an hour and Beth goes 59 miles an hour. Okay, so that gives you information about time and velocity. Mm -hmm. So either we can ignore the hours, like the actual times right now, mm -hmm. and just remember to add them on at the end. Okay. Or we can say something like, Let's call 8 a.m. equals time um, of zero. Okay. So do you need to do 400 divided by 46 or 59? Yeah. Plus their speed? Yeah, exactly. So then we got a velocity of Beth is 49? She, uh, she's 59, and 59. he's 46. Miles per hour. 46 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. So, Alan is 8.69, or 8.7. So Alan takes 8.7 hours. Mm -hmm. I mean, out. And she takes 6.7. 6.7 hours. So if we just take those and add them to our, well, the time that they started. So like, and plus 6.8. 6.7 or 6.8? 6.8. Oh. Well, because it was 6.79. Okay. So. She left at 8. So it was like she got there at 2 something? Oh, hang on. So she left at 9, right? Yeah, left she left at nine. 9. Alan left at 8. Okay. So 9. Oh, yeah, 9. It would be 3. It's so like 3 plus a couple minutes. Yeah, what you can do with this, um, if you want to convert 6.8. It's like that point 0.8. To minutes? Yeah, to minutes. How would you do that? Divided by two. Yes. So you can say point 0.8 hours, one hour, 60 minutes equals this point. Yeah, oh, point 0.8 times 60. Uh huh. Point 0.8 times 60. 48? 48 minutes. So six hours and 48 minutes? Yep. So she got there at 348? Yep. Okay, and he started at 8. What's that point 0.7? How many minutes? 8.7, so... 42? 